On this day in 2000, the Second Intifada, or Al-Aqsa Intifada, began. On September 28th, Israeli Defense Minister Ariel Sharon, escorted by over 1,000 armed police and soldiers, raided the Al-Aqsa compound in Jerusalem. Seven Palestinian protesters were killed during this invasion, resulting in mass protests that broke out across Palestine. These events would serve as a trigger for the Second Intifada. The uprising was the culmination of years of pent-up frustration, following Israel's refusal to end its illegal occupation after seven years of so-called peace negotiations, which intentionally bore no fruit. With the signing of the Oslo Accords in 1993, Israel indicated that it would work towards ending its illegal occupation of Palestinian lands. But instead, settlements expanded and the number of settlers doubled over the following years. In the first days of the Second Intifada, Israeli soldiers fired an estimated 1.3 million rounds of ammunition at Palestinian protesters. In total, at least 4,973 Palestinians were killed by Israeli forces, including 1,200 children, 274 women, and 32 medical personnel. Additionally, more than 10,000 Palestinian children were wounded. The Israeli army also employed other collective punishment measures, namely home demolitions, destroying more than 5,000 Palestinian homes and irreversibly damaging 6,500 others, making countless Palestinian families homeless. The nearly five-year uprising, like many periods throughout the history of the illegal Israeli occupation, were marked by extreme violence and gross violations of international law. However, they were also marked by the unceasing resilience, resistance, and sacrifice of Palestinians all over Palestine.